Hey, you're all injured here for every three faction war. This is Katrin, Purification Plant, and Orcs versus Chaos. For the Blue Chaos team, we have Olev as a war boss. Melee hero that can walk through objects, very good offense, disruption, and support from the front lines. This is the Free Booters DLC from Relic, which I believe was free. Alongside here, Rostam as a commander knob, infiltrating commander that shoots you, stabs you, and blows you up. Orcist style begins range combat with a twin link shooter. This is the um, Death Skulls Elite Scheme or something recolored. Alongside here and rounded off this blue team, getting chased off in fact, is Entwined by Vengeance 4 as a mech teleporting commander that fights range combat. Awesome damage output can also support, disrupt, build structures and repair. Red Chaos Scuzzy, I'm gonna call him. As a play champion starts off range combat with a damage over time bolter can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support can build turrets and repair, but it's very slow. This is the Death Guard Elite Scheme. I hear Doom Bolts flying out already, I think. This is YZ, rocking a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero. Awesome control abilities and manipulation can also hurt you pretty badly. You might see a Doom Bolts right here. And there it is, one of his starting abilities. Got some hits on those sluggers and rather than a soft, is Randy. As a Chaos Lord, durable and destructive commander all through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful offense and disruption fights mainly in melee combats on Black Legion. On show. This is the west side then. You see this contested victory point. We'll see a lot of action and some awesome team fights I would think. With Chaos and Orcs going at it. Lots of upfront damage from both of these factions. And a whole lot of Chaos. And that's not just coming from Chaos. Sorcerer doing some consuming of heretics to get some energy and health back. He likes to do that so he can throw out another Doom Bolt, which we might see here. There it is. I'm thinking Orcs are going to be the stronger here very, very early on. Look at this from Skazi with triple heretics. He might go triple grenade launchers here. He's already got one up. Can be very painful against blobs of shooters. He is the east side player, which means he might be in the team fights a little bit less often. We do have natural victory points, of course. Blue team in the south. And a natural for the red team in the north. Looks like the mech boy is going to get on it early on here. So Orcs have pushed through. But here's uh, Havrocks up relatively quickly from Randy. And entwined with some looters. Looks like they are on the east side against Skazi. And I see two grenade launcher heretics up. Plague champion getting some decapping going on. Doom bolts. And then some recapping, recapping by the Chaos Sorcerer. Do I see a Sword of Flame there? I do. But a good start from the Orcs. They've pushed through, they've capped things. And they are bashing power, which gives the Red Team a lot of things to think about in the early stages. I mean, do we defend power? Do we recap? Do we fight? Gotta do a, a bit of everything relatively well, I guess. Orcs will most likely be forced off here. Can they get on those shooters, though? Don't think you can, Mr. Sorcerer. You um, shot out your Doom Bolts instead. Commando gets away, well judged engagement by Rostam, and we do have triple grenade launcher heretics. How are they going to respond? Are they going to respond with some storm boys? Always fun to see. We could see the um, Commando get his shotgun up in tier 2. The special shooter run up to those heretics without aspiring champions as they are now and have a lot of fun with his explosive shells. High explosive shells, I believe they call it. Warboss in retreat here with his enhanced custom shooter. A pretty decent range weapon. Good DPS as you can see there. 33 piercing. And um, the shoot him good. Which is a pretty nice ability. AOE disruption on that thing. Havoc's pushing up then to support Randy's attack on the banner. I guess he was thinking of going for the power and spotted this banner over here. And wants to get it taken down since that will passively buff nearby orcs and also... Has an ability to buff them even more. Look at that blob of chaos stuff there. Slugger's getting in. Hidden by the Commander Knob's global ability. Hide the boys. And there's the mech boy too. Spotting a very juicy blob of infantry to use his electric armor on. The Sluggers do not get away. Heretic's getting in there and finish them off. I think the Sorcerer's um, Sword of Flame also helped them finish them. Skazi did drop one of his heretics and did have grenade launchers, so that's a power purchase down the drain. We've got Eternal War up for YZ's double CSM and some more heretics. 
in their default melee state, these guys with grenade launchers. So they traded heretics for sluggers, I guess. Bash it, says Rostam. I guess he's talking about this eastern side. Do they um, want to steal it? Looks like they're stealing it if they're just bashing the node over there. Yes, Lord. Oh, couldn't disrupt the war boss there because he was in midair. Tried to disrupt him with kill the weak. Now he's eating lots of Dacker to his face. Terminator armor can take a fair amount of Dacker, of course. Although he's technically wearing commander armor. Which can also take a fair amount of piercing damage. We've got the assassin's knife for the commander knob. Gives you trip a shot which is new in elite mod which is pretty interesting. Trip something over and you stun it. So you can mess with um, chaos lords and stuff that can't be knocked over that easily. And wouldn't be affected by the knockdown I don't think. Make boy goes down. Plague champion what you got going on? Fetid armor and the mucus discharge. Pretty nice support war gear all around. The AoE heal, of course, always useful in team fights. And you've got the AoE suppression on demand, which I personally love. Pushing up the east side, then, are the Chaos Forces led by this sorcerer. doing some work on the front lines with the Sword of Flame. Looks like he's ducking in and out of engagements quite well, getting hits off and staying safe. Plague Champion, I believe, just used his Breath of Nurgle heal to um, self-heal. I believe it's a 100... Oh, 145 health. That's not bad. I thought it was 110. And 70 health to surrounding units, which is not bad. Here comes a sneaky commando. Might have wanted to wait for some help, but there goes a stun bomb. That's his starting ability alongside the infiltration. And stun some stuff, certainly. Gets the play champion out of there. You see that... Um, kind of green effect whenever he hits with this knife. I don't think it does damage over time. It looks like it should, but um, it, it just smacks him. Pretty sure it just smacks him. Sort of flame with almost 45 melee DPS, and then you've got the da damage over time packed on top of that. It's pretty dangerous. Rostam with a pain boy on the field. He is a sub-commander hero type deal for the, for the Orcs. Get him out in tier 1 which um, can give you a pretty powerful kind of melee multiplier early on, make your sluggers incredibly dangerous and able to stand up to most tier 2 dedicated infantry as well if your sluggers are upgraded. And Rustam does have upgraded sluggers. They have burners in, at least. They're going to have to fight some chosen Plague Marines though on the field from Skaz, a unique unit to the Plague Champion. Damage over time, Plague Knives, explosions on death. Don't have they have special attacks I think, but they don't melee charge. CSM level two and level two bashing power. Pretty good sustained pressure here from Chaos, and now some chosen plague marines in your face. Orcs, what are you gonna do about that? What are they gonna do about that? Pain boy will help the sluggers, but it, it's still a pretty dicey fight. Down goes some shooter boys. Those were Rust Dams, I believe. Havoc's right there too. There's a lot of stuff to deal with. They didn't want to just charge up the middle here. Put some pressure on the back lines, on the power, make the chaos turn around and think about their own positioning. Skazi getting aspiring champions up on both of the heretic squads. Those guys have bolt pistols to add to the range fire and add to the durability of the heretics. Also give you a detector unit which is useful when you've got a commander knob sneaking around your back lines. Still with the Assassin's Knife. I was looking forward to seeing that special to shoot on as blobs of heretics, but I guess not. Sluggers here now fully upgraded for Rustam with their knob leader and those burners. Makes them a pretty dangerous melee unit and with the pain boy heal over time support, even more so. Chaos Lord not messing around, getting his lightning claws up. 100 power melee DPS and the um, destructive strike which I've never really been incredibly impressed with. I mean, it's good. It's good. 30 piercing damage doesn't sound like a lot, but it, it I think it triggers multiple times, kind of like a merciless strike. Usually you see him using his energy on kill the weak, and then I don't think he necessarily has the energy left to use the destructive strike when he might want to. We'll see if he uses it here. 
impressed me destructive strike I've seen it do some good stuff here and there but uh, I always felt like that ability should be a bit more scary I mean compare that to ethereal slash there's no comparison obviously they are very different heroes in different factions and all that good stuff but yeah never never super impressive to me chosen plague marines down to three models but they're happy to keep fighting since their death explosions heal themselves unlike regular plague marines here's a blood crush up from randy also has some blood letters so both technically demon units which will benefit greatly from worship plague champion getting his plague fist up and running level three as well done well sorcerers also level three chaos lord still level one a lot of the action has been on this east side we've seen 2v2 fights usually you see the 2v2 fights on the west i was expecting it to all be over here 273 to 416 early vp lead here for chaos well not that early yz is already tier three blood crusher in amongst some storm boys blood letters also there storm boys do have a knob leader for olev and the war boss himself can give you that melee superiority with his buffs from the global bar weird boy also in play which is a uh, pretty bad news for big fights for your opponent you can do a hell of a lot with the well-timed warp vomit and his um foot of warp getting tied up by blood letters though oh heretics under threat are those guys gonna jump again there's a jump so they jumped to the wrong place though fellas miscalculation there and they're not gonna get them they are gonna get the vp though i think here's the pain boy in fact to cap this is Ross Dams, yes, who came over. 203416. Those guys super died. That was some heretics there, I think. We've got some good old regular Plague Marines behind some cover for Scuzzy. But he is looking kind of depleted right now. He's got a decent amount of resources, though, so it looks like he is deciding between going tier 3 and get something else on the field. Chaos Lord doing some work using Mantle of Hate's Drain Life. To throw that mech boy off the cap. He does have the beamy death gun. Which I'm sure helped take care of the blood pressure at some point. 175, 416. Here comes some sluggers looking for a fight. In fact, backing away from a fight, fellas. What's going on? Rostam's pain boy. Got the cap. Can he get the Chaos Lord? He does get the Chaos Lord. Look at that. How often do you see the pain boy getting a sink kill on a chaos lord he just have he just has slugger animations i think tier three now for randy and scuzzy with some more plague marines we do have a war truck for entwined so to help deal with those oh good grief what was that that was havocs i think taken down by um some sluggers there and is that a trophy rack war boss it is to see the red debuff circles on the CSM. Also got his spiky armor up. Plague Marines then. They have this um, snaring missile launcher. It doesn't snare infantry if it's them. Which is rare. But it will snare larger targets. Which helps them catch up. Because Plague Marines aren't very quick. And obviously helps other anti-vehicle things do some damage. That was a very strange looking shoot and good. At a jaunty angle there. Plague Marines. Oh, I thought they were strangely split up there. But they were all four were in that pile. Just clumped together lads. That's a, that's certainly a Chaos Army coming at you Orcs. What are you going to do about that? Doombolts flies in. Very good engagement opener. Oh there's that special shooter. High explosive shells. Really messed up the start of that engagement for Chaos. Now Stormboy's jumping in, buffed by the war boss, warp vomit as well. Chaos dealt with. Chaos dealt with pretty nicely there. They're still in play. They are still in play, but I think they should win this engagement orc, surely. They have war truck support. Lots of DACA Stormboys reinforcing. There's a bomber boy. Pain boy is level two. Going after the Chaos Sorcerer. The Pain Boy does damage over time, much like the Sorcerer with his Sword of Flame. 
Robes of Torment also up. We saw those chains just now. Corn worship then for the Budletters. Randy getting a Chaos Predator on the field. YZ with a Great Unclean one already up. That is a pretty quick Greater Demon. Coming up through the middle now on the minimap. You can see that big triangle. 175308. Good shot from the Weird Boy. Russ Dam's kept him safe so far. Bloodletters usually on the hunt for him, I would think. There's that Chaos Predator. Can get various marks to upgrade it. And he's gone for the Mark of Corn. Which just upgrades the damage of all the weapons. Nothing wrong with that. More shooting us from your fire support is a pretty good move. Great and King one having some fun taking down the Commando Knob. And now getting stuck into that war boss. Warp Vomit used. It won't stun this big fella though. It's a lot for him to take on so he's backing off being cautious. Sluggers have found a tank to hit. It's not, they're not going to do a whole lot to it. Heretics should be Doom Blasting here. There we go. They're getting stuck in. Doesn't want to Doom Blast and drop a model needlessly. Keeps them at max. Warboss gets the revive. He's very nearly level 5. 175274. Flash gets on the way for Entwined and for Rustam. He might be thinking, hey, Blasters, there's a great and clean one there. Blasters do massive amount of damage to heavy infantry and super heavy infantry, which is what the Great Unclean One is in terms of his armor type. War banners up, war truck support, orcs looking relatively strong on his west side, but there's Terminators, a tank, and a Great Unclean One to deal with all of a sudden. And sometimes you need time to adapt and counter. We'll see how they do here. Weird Boy goes down after a foul snare pulled in by the Chaos, uh, by the Great and Clean One and then taken out in melee. Is there a Nob Squad somewhere? Nob Squad on the way for Olev. That was just the um, Storm Boy Nob you saw taken down there. I got confused for a second. I thought that was a, a Nob from a Nob Squad. Chosen Plague Marines getting shot to pieces by the snaz guns of the flash kits which is their starting weapon and this is kicking off into a big old fight over the contested vp orcs backing off but still in this red team do cap it down goes that sorcerer so fast there is some worship from yz to support the great and clean one more terminators being called in now those guys can get lightning claws which is one of the best ways well the best way i think to go toe to toe with an ob squad you do have gene stealers as well which um, with support with synapse support and a few levels maybe will rip apart an ob squad actually pretty well but these terminators are backing off here they do not have lightning claws at least not yet there's user choppers from the war boss on his knobs war boss himself coming in got a nurgle shrine going Tank, uh oh, being flanked by some commandos with a rocket launcher. Orcs still in play, using that war truck very, very well. Chaos needs to get on that thing. Oh, there's the flash kits with their blasters doing that AoE damage. Bad for this blob of um, CSM here. Especially if they stand near the great and clean one. That is a high value shot going on. Big chunks coming off that guy. Bear in mind that is a 6,000 hit point model, over 6,000 hit points. So if you see that, if you're seeing that bar move, that's a big chunk of damage. Chaos are holding on, but Orcs are not giving up. Still lots of DACA, but they're trying to punch through all of this super heavy infantry armor from the Terminators and the Great and Clean One. Piercing damage is not the most efficient way to do that. They're shooting good. Messing up these uh, chosen plague marines. Are they going to get away? Looks like they should be okay. Grand clean one now under three. Does passively damage nearby units. So yeah, if you have a bunch of light infantry coming to try and fight him. Usually doesn't turn out that well. Storm boys getting in there. With hard boys up. Grand clean one sees them off. Backing off to their shrine. Some really good... Persistent play by both teams here. Massive running battle going on. Blue team down to 90 VPs as we bring the UI back in. 
2 4 3 for Chaos. They've got a decent lead here. That's a nasty Doombox. Chaos Predator on the way for Randy. Scuzzy has one up with no mark. Randy was the player who had one before, which went down. There it was. Thanks to those um, commandos, I guess. Orcs have pushed through onto the VP. But because of this shrine, these tough Chaos, Chaos units have some serious staying power here. Grand King one proving to be a massive pain in the ass. Nobs going after him. Um, these heretics are not worshipping. They're worshipping the shrine, so they're not worshipping him. I'm not sure if he gets the heals off the shrine. I don't see them affecting him. Rocks coming now from the orcs. Their global nuke. Who was that from? Can we guess? Maybe entwined. Love the Daka there from the commandos. Awesome disruption. Another Chaos Predator though. Orcs are going to cap it again. There's that war truck still. We also have a looted tank now in the field. Where are the lightning claws guys? We have two Chaos Terminators on the field. Neither with lightning claws up. These guys need a reinforcement which is going to be expensive. We've got a Mark of Nurgle Predator and one already up. These things are pretty awesome I think. You get some health regen on your tank. A big chunk of hit points and melee resistance. Their main weapon becomes perhaps a little bit weak. Less damage up front and then it leaves a a pool of green Nurgly craft behind. It doesn't seem to do a huge amount of damage. That's probably it there. Doesn't seem to do a huge amount of damage, especially to late game units, but um, the durability it gives you is uh, pretty awesome. Combine that with um, Nurgle Worship as well, which would affect the tank. And you've got a, a bit of a, a tough tank going on. Blue team still have this west side. This fight is never going to end, I don't think. <laughs> if they can't get rid of this tank, this uh, war truck. Noxious Cloud doing some work. Got a bunch of stuff off the field there, just as I said that. But this player is still pushing through. This is Ross Dam trying to get a revive. And should get it. And does get it. He's level 5. Got his kaboom, got his mega boom kit. Ready to blow some stuff up, I guess. Orky style. That was a looted tank shot, was it? What was that explosion? Oh, it was probably the uh, special shooter doing its thing. Nob Squad a bit low going in on that fight to the Grand Clean One. This Grand Clean One has been awesome. How much damage must he have taken? How much of it? We've seen him around half health like three separate times now and healed back up and then back down again. Taken like 9,000 damage, I think. Another looted tank here from Randy. Chaos with this awesome sustain from the Shrine. Keeping on going, for those that don't know, if you worship the shrine, you get secondary effects. In the Nurgle Shrine's case, it allows you to reinforce from the shrine, as well as causing the periodical heal to fire off more frequently. It's quite a big heal, I believe it's a 7% heal, but it won't affect um, vehicles and super units, only infantry, I believe. Hawks are still here. Orcs are certainly still here. Warboss is level 7. Might want to get a little bit closer to these fights so that his trophy rack can do its thing. There's that Nurgly Vomit. Decap on the west side. 88 to 141. The VP lead of the Chaos team has been slowly whittled down here by some very determined greenskins. Sluggers on, cap on the repair duty, I should say. Here's a very isolated pain boy. Be careful, my friend. Who is this? This is Ross Dams, level 3 pain boy still. He's probably used his, um... Orky surgery by now, I would think. Not always easy to tell who has it. He's got a damage buff surgery, a speed surgery, and a health buff surgery. He only performed the surgery once. 88 to 141. Got some tank busters trying to bust the tank. But well, that is a noble tank. So it's 
tougher to bust than usual. I bet they're getting quite frustrated over that. Heretics breaking worship from the shrine to repair the tank here. It's always quicker to repair a vehicle than it is to worship it. Even blood crushers, I believe, will repair faster rather than heal up from worship faster. But worship is great because it affects multiple units. Level 3 Plague Marines. Are they going to go for the natural here, Chaos? That's what the Chaos Lord is thinking about it. Level 4. Now's the time to go for that natural, I think. 66 to 1 for 1. Orcs are delaying their push on the VP. They need to get it back as 2v1 against them. And Chaos, at just the right time, I think, are going for the natural here. 56 to 1 for 1. Rock's coming in. Might have wanted to save that to stop a cap. Like right now. Chosen Plague Marines on the cap here. Spit up strangely. Orcs are pushing up Chaos Army though. Lots of Chaos Predators to deal with. That war truck is still there. 51-141. What was that that just went down? I'm not sure. Nob Squad trying to chase a tank. But getting suppressed by the Nurgle Shrine, which is another great thing it does. Using Frenzy to break it. Lightning Claw Terminators? No. Still with their Power Fists. Get some Lightning Claws, fellas. I guess they want to keep that ranged fire support. And uh, think that they can deal with knobs in other ways, which they've been doing so far. They have been doing it so far. The Grand Clean One continues to be the MVP for me. Great purchase at a great time by YZ. Or YZ. Depends where he's from, I guess. Another Chaos Predator on the way. This time from YZ. 48, 127. The uh, Grand Clean one having a jig there. Little merry dance. Very happy at all the flesh being corrupted here. There's his Cloud of Flies thing. He's having a, a, a bit of a party. He's now backing away to the... Good old worship. No, nope, turned around. Orcs being run off the field. Triple cap. This is going to be it, I think. They're so strong in faction wars. Last couple of years, the chaos. They've been so strong, and there it is. Triple cap with one two seven on the on the VP counter. What a fight that was at the end. I don't think either team had a full full retreat for like fifteen minutes solid. It felt like. That was pretty nuts with War Truck and Shrine. Neither team able to really get on the opposing team's means of staying in the field so well. Let's look at his heroes end of the game. Level 8 War Boss is down. I believe he had his enhanced custom shooter to the end there. Level 6 Commando with that Orky shotgun. Level 5 Mech. Beamy, Electric Armor and Custom Force Field. Plague Champion only level 3 somehow. With his Plague Fist, Fetid Armor, and Mucus Discharge. Level 10, Chaos Sorcery. Did have the Tome of Subjugation. I wasn't really looking, watching out for that. But I'm sure he used it on knobs a fair few times and annoyed the crap out of people. Chaos Law Level 5 with Mantle of Hate and his Lightning Claws. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you to these players for organizing and playing out this faction war for our pleasure. I believe Rostam was the organizer. And uh, I'll see you next time.